Hey guys, thank you for revisiting my channel. So today, we're going to recreate this dreamy look like color grade in Da Vinci Resolve that I used in my recent travel video, uh, Victoria. Please check it out uh, in the link somewhere here or maybe somewhere here but first please do me a favor and show your support by subscribing to my channel or leaving a like or a comment of what you'd like me to cover next okay so let's go ahead so a week ago I received a comment asking for a tutorial on how I did that dreamy look in my Victoria travel video so I'd like to make a shout out to Marcos Films. So thank you for that comment. This look can be achieved in two simple steps actually. So we'll go ahead and open our, our DaVinci Resolve. And for this tutorial, we are going to use these two clips here as an example. I already dropped our clips into our timeline down here and we're going to head straight to the color tab. So for those of you who are new to DaVinci Resolve, this is called a node. And a node is like the basic unit of our canvas. It acts as a layer, but acts quite differently than a layer. For example, if we have a second node next, I don't want to say on top of our first node, but the result of whatever we have done on the first node, any modification made on the first node will act as a starting canvas for our second node. With that said, we are going to add a new node after our first node. <clears throat> so to achieve that, while the first node is selected, I'm going to press Option plus S on Mac or Alt plus S on Windows or just right click on our first node, hover on Add Node and select Serial Node. So now we are going to be able to work on our first node. Um, select the first node and we'll go down to our curves here to tweak some basic contrast and saturation. Very basic color grade. This is, by the way, not a color grade tutorial. Um, probably I'm going to do that in the future. But this is just uh, adding um, one element to our basic color grade. So select the Y. <coughs> Select the Y, which means we are just going to touch or modify the luminance. Um, I personally love contrasted color. So in our curves, X axis represents the color uh, or luminance or the brightness of our clip. Left is the shadow. The rightmost part is the highlight, which consists of the brightest area of our image. And the middle is the midtone. So to make our clip a little bit contrasty, let's do the famous basic S curve. And that's pretty much about it. Now that we're through with the first note, let's jump right into our second note. With the second note selected, we are going to drag the FX uh, Gaussian Blur. Um, Gaussian or Gaussian Blur. Um, I don't know how <coughs> that is pronounced, but uh, this is the Gaussian Blur. That is under the Open Effects tab here. Drag the Gaussian Blur effect to our second note. And right after you select it, um, just instantly select reflect or replay or replicate under the border type to get rid of that black border from our clip and let's go down to our qualifier here by clicking the dropper icon second from the left to open our uh, edit oh sorry to open the window to edit our luminance so we're just going to put the gaussian blur only on the highlights of our clips and not on the shadow so forget about the shadows at the moment so first things first what i would like to do before is we play around with our luminance um, by turning on the highlight uh, the highlight is located here and to do that 
and turn on that magical one icon just right up above our clip and by doing that we're able to see which areas of our clip that that's going to be affected by our editing the gray represents the one which will not be affected <clears throat> then we'll go back down to our qualifier and this is where we play around with our luminance also one more thing we need to adjust uh, we need to adjust the denoise of our luminance this is to enable any sharpness uh, to the edge of our area um, what we have to do is to adjust the affected areas of the Gaussian blur and adjust the left of the rectangle drag it to either left or right likewise you can also drag you can also select at the very right side of our rectangle inside the luminance and drag it to the left and you can drag the whole rectangle left and right see it's affecting our clip once you are happy with the selection then that's the time we play with the properties of our gaussian blur so moving forward with the gaussian blur properties the only properties we're going to play with are the blend and the blur strength itself for now i do not recommend any values for those properties uh, but rather play along see what fits into the clips that you're working on so every clips has its own different blend and blur strength um okay so now with the second image here we're gonna go through pretty much the same process tweak our wild luminance our basic s shape to apply some contrast to our image and on the second note we are going to add the gaussian blur again select only the highlight by using the qualifier and then play around with the luminance be sure to check from time to time the highlight to make sure the correct selection is being made So that's it for today guys i hope you like that little tutorial we have today also don't forget to follow me on instagram and like or comment in the comment section below see you on the next one thank you guys bye